The Avenger begins in Kill Rush on board the Dolphin Watch boat. Spaces on board are ties because something special is happening on Scattery Island. Once through the lock, we're into the S tree and it's plain sailing to Scattery. Scattery is an island in the middle of the Shannon estuary where my granddad Santa was born. That's him! Around the pier is very busy with all types of boats. There's excitement as the pastors land the pier. Taking place outside of the tourist office here at the head of the pier. So don't go too far. We would like as many people as possible involved in this. The normally quiet scattery is usually busy and there is a high level activity on shore with all sorts of crafts and skills on display. Time for a picnic amongst long buried relations. <laughs> the island's visitors take cover from the brief shower. Some fires from Ennis seem to fit right in. The locals have put on all types of displays, both offshore and onshore. In the museum and also up in the churchyard, there's reference to the people from Scattery Island who served in the Great Wars and who also served at sea. So we're just going to start off with a piece of music and as you can see on the inside, it's called a post hitter on. Is Jesus Christ our Lord? We in the Father's Son and Holy Spirit, we are of our God. fly scarce heard and into the bones below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived. Again, the loud alarms of battle, dying moans and painful breath. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for right. Holy light, and where the sadness ever I, I don't remember anybody being called sin and they were called Shannon. And that was Shan Owen. So that's how Sin got his name. Um, uh, we do know that he took people into the mainland who were very tired and um, who needed restoration and renewal. And that joy of the spirit was always in here. Uh, he ignited it. Um, Many things happened uh, after Senan died. There were many, many battles, there were divisions, uh, there was bloodshed. I pray for the protection of the island. And I'll just leave with the ironic blessing. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you and may the Lord make you safe.
could try and get the current people and uh, it's, it's the people from uh, Newmarket and from Fair Castle and Kildaisford and Dunbeg and any oarsmen who's available, I think we plenty of currups and a lack of roars. So if any any of you fancy uh, fancy a spin in the currup, you're more than welcome. So we try and get that underway. Um, also, if you look behind us there, we have the Celtic banner and she'll be finishing up her water cannon display and she's done a lovely job this afternoon. Mercy. And of course, the monks on this island would have sung the, uh, the same chant. Um, melody goes right back into the midst of time. The monastic sites remind us of the past. And of course the Gaelic for Scottish Island is Inish, as an island, Inish, Cote or Cote. And according to legend, anyhow, when Sansin arrived here, he did battle with the the uh, those special uh, monster here, a serpent or a dragon at the time, and he's supposed to banish the serpent and the monster all the way up as far as doing it today, for jumping them into Mabby. So as you can see already, it's just the very same story as St. Patrick banishing the snakes out of Ireland, which is victory for Christianity over pagan. The past ships remind us that Scattery guided ships through the Shannon with its lighthouse and pilots that lived here. The side of Kirk's looks magical. An expert from Irish Bell and Alpha Watch amazes the crowd. How do we know that? How do I recognise an individual dolphin? How do I recognise? Well, how, how do you recognise? Like, if you if you want to look at birds, you're a female and you've had a calf. How long has a calf stayed with you? It's very good. So this is a bottlenose dolphin. It looks a bit weird because this is where its eye is. Yeah, that's its eye. That bit there is where the mu the muscle from the jaw attaches. But I hope you all enjoy the rest of the weekend and the afternoon and thank you again for coming.
Unfortunately, it's time to head back to the pier as the big operation of ferrying visitors back to the rush begins. Everyone is excited and declares the event a huge success. I don't like these feckin' visitors.